Advanced Weather Plus forecast with meteorologist Tony Pan. Well, let's start with the important forecast. New Year's Eve is only a couple of days away, so I thought we'd start with that and then work our way back uh, into the current weather. And right now, it looks uh, clear and cold for us here in Baltimore as we turn the page into the new year. In the evening, the temperatures will be in the 30s. By the time we hit midnight, uh, it'll be in the 20s. Not much wind, though. It's just going to be quiet uh, and cold. That's the way it looks right now. Today, we made it into the 40s. Uh, for, for the most part, we were above average. The high temperature today was right after midnight, and then it dropped down to 40. Then it came back up into the low 40s. So, like I said, right around average, average out around 42. By the way, the record high for today, 77, set back in 1984. Some of you may remember that. The warmest temperature on record for Baltimore during the month of December, 77. 40 right now at the airport. It's 39 in Mount Airy. It's 40 in Parkton, 41 in Rising Sun, and it's 42 degrees in Chestertown. Temperatures will settle back to around 30 by tomorrow morning. And there's not much weather around us. There's a little bit of cloud cover, especially south of Baltimore. There's a disturbance going off the coast, and it's been trying to produce some sprinkles down in southern Maryland and the lower eastern shore county. So if you're watching us down there, you guys might see a few sprinkles this evening, but that'll all stay south of Baltimore, I believe. There's another system, though, we're watching. It doesn't look very impressive, but it's out here in the Plain States. It's a piece of upper level energy that's going to swing by south of Baltimore overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. And it's going to get colder over that time period. So believe it or not, there could be a little snow down across southern Maryland, lower eastern shore. There might even be a dusting of snow on the beach tomorrow morning. Again, with the system passing south of Baltimore, I'm just going to put a slight chance for snow flurries in the picture for us and the weather should stay overall generally quiet as we go into the beginning of the new year. And we could track that cold air using the upper air. It's, uh, it's uh, represented by the purple and the blue that you see on this map here. I'll set the time frame to New Year's Eve and you can see that's probably going to be the coldest part of this upcoming week for us right around Wednesday and Thursday. And then I'll set the time frame into Saturday. You see some of the warmer air starts to come back and that's good because a lot of the computer models are bringing a storm system up the coast. That's the one I was talking about at the top of the show that will create the rain and snow in Pittsburgh. For us, I think it's going to be uh, mostly rain. Partly to mostly cloudy tonight. Again, some sprinkles are possible south of Baltimore this evening. Temperatures will drop back to near 30 degrees. During the day tomorrow, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. I'll put a slight chance in for some snow flurries. Best chance would be south of Baltimore. The normal is 42. We're going to make it into the upper 30s to around 40 degrees. Seven-day forecast stacks up like this. Quiet chilly for us as we go into the new year. High temperature 37 on Wednesday. It'll drop into the lower 20s, I think, uh, during the morning on uh, uh, New Year's Day. Some spots might even be in the teens. 39 for a high temperature. 41 on Friday. And then that storm comes in over the weekend. Again, right now, I think it's going to be mostly rain for us. It'll start as rain on Saturday afternoon and end maybe as a mix of rain and snow on Sunday night. Dry and cold on Monday with a high near 39. All right, Tony, thank you.